Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to Tell Me Why. I am going to be giving Eddie my application stuff for him to print out. I really hope Allison's okay. Eddie. Hey, beautiful. Are you okay? Because, girl, you look like shit. <laughs> I, uh, I well. well, geez. I, Thanks. Um, that's how much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Yeah. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Gregs kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Are we gonna have some, uh, memory stuff? Should I? Hey, let's go get some cobbler first, and then we'll go get... Morning. Oh, uh, Miss Ronan. Ooh, these look like wild berries. Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh, yes, she takes her cooking seriously. Very seriously. Listen, man. <laughs> you ain't gotta fight me over it. I... Read, what am I reading? This is your lunch area. Keep it clean. Oh, I see it. Let's go drop off the stuff with Eddie. Maybe... I will not. I'm just going to drop off some stuff. Armory. And here's Eddie's office. I'm glad I know my way around this place. I shouldn't bother her. Uncle's in there. <laughs> He's really letting that guy have it. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's going to be busy for a while. Yeah, we'll go down here and hang out with D. I haven't. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. He's probably I worried. Really talked about it. I dropped my stuff off upstairs, so I'm gonna go wait in the break room. Okay, hon. I won't be much longer. <laughs> my cobbler. If you guys have never had cobbler, I like. I don't know if cobbler is like just like a a Jeez, southern thing. A god, into that poacher. god. <laughs> dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh pretty cool. Yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful though. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it too. <laughs> god that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but uh growing boys, right? He needs the extra energy. He wants to let her in wrestling, and oh boy, is he working hard. Damn. Sometimes I miss being 14. What Don't we all? Having? Trout pie and uh, black radish. Trout on a pie. Diet. A cobbler diet? Hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> what you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike? And the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. Hate strikes. What is this? Paris, France? Come on. It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. She, yeah. I want to eat cobbler. Yeah, it's there. It exists. Monk. There you go. You need to eat something. You are not kidding about the cobbler. This oh yeah. Be her best batch okay. ever. Damn good. Right? Like the Oh my god. You guys need to try hey, some Brits. fucking blackberry cobbler. I swear to god, it is some of the best food. Mmm. Cramandellos. It is some of the best so, cobbler. What's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Oh hell yeah. Nothing too serious. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People coming in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. I... Hey, Grace. Mm, I don't know. Got any big vacation plans coming up? 
Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Oh, that's Thanksgiving nice. For two years. Oh my, my God, that's so nice. Fake email. That's really cool. Why did you? Oh, there, never so mind. I know why he arranged it under a fake email. The college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. <sighs> One second. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? Let me guess. Some bored kid? Eh, wrong. It's a raccoon. Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but... You're kidding. I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Delos Crossing's not going to be the same without you, girl. Oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah. A sweet, smart girl who never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at them all day. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to have this conversation right now. I, I had a rough morning. All right. I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, stable, you're not a troublemaker. But Tyler, I mean, if he goes down, I can't. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. here before this will pass And 
it out. We follow the circles. <laughs> This is new. Just keep going. Here we go. In and out. It might get harder as I go. She had anxiety this bad. You're getting there, Allison. You're getting there. I'm okay. I'm okay. What's happening? Are you okay? Yes. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are going to be like. Or when I'm going to see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're going to be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, uh, kids. I um, went back to the house and... Got a few things for you. I know how much you've meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kid. I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? Oh. Oh. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened. I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong. Have About you? everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? But no. It wasn't him. It was me. Well... Over and over. No, I wouldn't say that. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. Why can't you? I to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. I want to forget. Mm. I just wish I could forget about it all. Never think about it again, ever. I understand. Trust me, I do. But there are ways to make peace with it. You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. Yeah, I agree. Like, he's right. You can't let it haunt you. Look, you're not your mother, okay? Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. 
got to tell those ghosts to move on. Ooh. Tyler keeps telling me that too. So you two agree on something. But I'm just not sure I can. Maybe it's time I finally talk to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that. But there's no shame in getting help. Please. Do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any I'm better? not sure if I made any good choices. Exhausted. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. Hmm. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility. But I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. <laughs> not just for Tyler. For me too. Well, if you feel like it's for you. Then... I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. I'm not sure if telling him that Mary, uh, that Allison killed Marianne would have been the best plan of action. So we're gonna go. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I'm not sure if it is Sam. I would have went to see Tyler first. I don't know. Maybe. Uh... Good. He's here. All right. So the garage is fucked. Or the door is fucked anyway. Uh... You okay? It's a pretty scene. Look at that. Alaska, man. Some beautiful country right. out there. Let's do this. Yeah. Hi, Sam. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing? Ah, cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <clears throat> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. Jesus. So, uh, did you need something? I wanted to talk. I was hoping to, uh, I 
actually wanted to check out your boat. Is all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, here she is. Uh huh. Yeah. Boat. Where is her? Where is your boat? I'm actually curious. Oh, there's a little dinghy. Is that what you're fishing? Mind your head. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. Uh, where's your brother? Uh, back at the house. Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? <laughs> All right. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. God. Okay. Maybe I need to... I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Time for annual haul out. That's a long time. That seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's it's not like I can take her out anyway. They uh, they want old Sam to uh, dry out a bit. Dry out a bit. Uh, yeah, that seems sensible. Yeah. No bananas on board, really? Damn right. It's not just superstition. One time, this greenhorn brought one on board. Well, you wouldn't believe the day we had. I'm listening. I'm listening. The boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific. Our hold was full of the morning's catch. We started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. And you blame the banana? So you blamed the banana and not the fact that you had a brand new crewman? Bananas are bad luck, sure as hell. Every single time I throw a banana off board, the fish start biting. All right, if you say so. How's the, uh, how's the house coming along? Eh, uh, slow. Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course, I mean, there's a whole life, uh, Lives in there. No shame. So, um... What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? You sly son of a bitch. God. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm, yeah. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but we sure as hell are going there. Am I supposed to investigate? I left your boat. I left you my boat a month ago, and as far as I can tell, the only work you've done is test how much beer you can fit on it. I paid you in advance as a favor because I know you need it, but god damn it, I need my boat. Family is family, but get it done by the by this weekend, or I'm reporting it stolen, and I know you're tired of brown on your ass. Answer the goddamn phone. They will ask if it's violation DUI. I don't know why it's better to do this. Monthly fee. Dude's in the red. Bad.
And those are ballots. Dude's in this rough. Oof. Okay, what am I taking this? Okay, I have a can of stuff now. Oh, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. A present for my old crew for my 30th birthday. Huh. Beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but... Uh... I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way, you know? Understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. You gotta know your shit. You don't need astronomy. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? Got a point. 90% of the time, that's how people navigate them, seas. Well, not nowadays, but used to. That was like the big thing. Impressive collection. When you want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. The moon's engineering navigation ocean tides. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Mm. Your mother gave that to me. Really got me thinking about things. Is there anything else here? I don't believe. I'm just looking around his shop like legit right now. This is all I'm doing. Mostly because I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I could, I guess, just force her to do that. But I feel like I actually need to do something. engines can I not get onto this okay oh Matty high boots Fish and stuff. Not like commercial fishing, but regular fishing. Would this help? Oh, uh, thanks, Princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Red oh, can. Princess. Right. Oh, oh, damn it. What happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should yeah. be in that cupboard over there. Cupboard over there. Uh, where's your cupboard at, dude? I, uh... Where's the goddamn gauze? I think I got some oh, gauze in the cupboard next to the sink. Ah, there it is. Yeah, right there. Gauze. Is there anything else? Nope. We 
And you say red can. I'll go find your red can. Jesus. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie. But the man you're looking for... Okay, guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. You were so close. You two were so close. Oh. I know you meant something to her. That. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... No coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look. We were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Mary Ann would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Mary Ann's fucking secrets. Yeah, I can see that. I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. the last time you cracked a window? I wanted to look through your stuff. Looking sharp, first mate Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that, that was a uh, long time ago. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow, I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Hmm. <laughs> well, what do you do on board? Oh, I worked the deck. Started out doing maintenance, collecting the garbage, Cleaning the hull, ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. I like looking at things like this. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. Uh, might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. Gets the house sold, gets the house sold. Yep. Hero boat captain saves crew members. 29 years old, captain. And didn't think twice before jumping into the ice cold, choppy waters of Mitchell Point to save members of his crew after their vessel capsized off the coast of Juneau. Love this picture. Listen, friend, I want to snoop around your shit. Peace. Three months recovery. Oh, no.
Day. Pay to the order of Samuel Kinski hundred fifty one hundred and fifty dollars, Richard Kansky. What's all this? Here, I uh, kept a few things. Can I? Happy birthday. Dear Sam, most bears only live to 20, 20 or 25, so congratulations on making it to 29. I certainly wouldn't have survived long out here without you, so thanks again for everything you do. Laura is a very lucky woman. I know you think the best part of your past has been erased, but as long as you don't forget the... As long as you don't forget, the Anachak Rose will always be seaworthy. It just might look a bit smaller in memory. I hope you get some time on the water with, with Richie this weekend and catch everything you deserve, including some new memories. Happy birthday, my cherished friend, Marianne. Swords and schemes. I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. It was a book? Oh, it was a book? <laughs> I guess so. Must have been one of her favorites. Oh, she was so mad. <laughs> yeah. Mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. Yeah, I do remember them saying something about her making art now. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. I can't do anything with this. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh huh. She saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Dear Sam, I'm running from the ho from the little hotel you recommended in downtown Juno, and you're right. The kids love the the whale mural. Our other favorites was the Raven mural at City Hall. Today we took the tramway to the top of the Mount Robert. Kids wanted to hike the trail, but. We only made it to the totems. Tomorrow we're going to hike to Nugget Falls to see if the glacier still looks like what the other still looks like what's on the other side. Hope you're hauling them in by the barrel load, Marianne. That's all of it, isn't it? Yeah. She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Yeah, I bet. It just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? No, oh, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jim, you closed the whole thing up. I told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Well, are you really going to go through with this? 
just like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all that, it's all we got left. <laughs> I mean, if you want to buy it, you can. You can't just throw it away. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be, like, mean to him. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it. I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. Stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she doesn't have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. I watched the boats come in and out. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. God damn it. I need to end this episode. Work with what you got. <laughs> think, think about that a lot. Uh, Wait. I kind of hope he's just asleep and not dead. Okay, well, we're going to end this episode here because I'm like 10 minutes over. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.